Welcome back. In the previous three videos, I have showed how to create a GitHub account, install Git in Windows, and to link them. In this video, I am going to show you how to install R, R Studio, and link R Studio with GitHub account. First, let's remind you guys what exactly R is and why you might want to use it. R is both a programming language and an environment focused mainly on statistical analysis and graphics. R is downloaded from the comprehensive R archive network. In short, we called CRAN. So go to the CRAN website using the links called cran.r project.org. And then click on downloads R 4.0.3 for Windows. And uh, this will should initiate the download process. You can see over here. It will take few seconds to download the R. Once uh, the download is finished, you should go to your download folders. And then right click on R 4.0.3, which is the version of R dash win. Click on run as administrator. And then you can, you, the installation wizard said, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click yes. Now um, uh, click um, uh, the uh, language you want to select. Uh, in uh, for this video, I am going to prefer English language so. I use English and click OK. So here is GNU General Public License. I am not going to read it. Uh, if you want to read, uh, you can. Uh, then click Next. So this is uh, the destination folder where uh, you want to keep your R installation. Um, you can change this file path using just um, click um, browse, but I want to keep the default path, so click next. Then you should um, choose all defaults for next item unless you want to customize. Um, so just click next until you see installation. So now it's installing. It will take few seconds to install. Click finish. Now you have installed oh. R in your Windows. Next things you need to do install R Studio. Now I have a question. 
um, for you guys, what is R Studio? And why need this? Yeah, let's say, let's, let's say this, um, uh, what is R Studio? So R Studio is a general user interface for R that allows you to write, edit, and store code, uh, generate, view, and store plots, manage files, objects, and data frames, and integrate um, with version control system, and so on. Um, so go to the R Studio website using the link called rstudio.com slash product slash R studio slash download. Then you will see the web page, something like that. Then click on the download under the free version. Then it will prompt to the page where you can choose your desired uh, version. So for this one, I will choose download R Studio for Windows. So you should click on here. And this should initiate the download process you can see here. Again, it will take um, some time to download. Once the download is finished, um, go to your downloads folder from your computer and you can see R Studio dash and then um, the version of R Studio. So click, right click on it and then you can see run as administrator, click on that. And then the installation wizard now saying, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes. Now, for continue, click next. So this is also for the destination location where you can keep your R, R Studio installed folder. So uh, again, you can uh, change the file paths just clicking browse, but I want to keep the default path. So click next. And um, if you want to the default, uh, just click install. It will take few seconds to install. Now click finish. 
Now you have installed R Studio in your computer. Next thing you need to do link R Studio with your GitHub account. To do this, open the R Studio from your start menu. And go to the tools and global options. Then go to git slash SVN. And now you need to create a RSA key. So you can see under SSH RSA key. Um, create RSA key. So click on that. So this uh, uh, pass phrase uh, and confirm this is optional. Um, so uh, I just um, click on create and click yes. And now close these windows and click. Now you can um, see view public key. So you need to click on that. And you can see um, uh, some keys here. You, you just need to copy those keys. Um, those are the string numbers and letters and close the windows. Now go to your GitHub account using github.com and log into your GitHub account. Um, so I already saved my username and password. So I am here my on, on my account. So now go to the account setting. Uh, you can see your profile, the right uh, top corner and click on that and go to your profile. And so you need to go to your account setting. And then go to the SSH and uh, GPG keys and click new SSH key. Now you need to um, paste the strings number you all uh, copied from our studio over here and give a title. I'm giving um, our studio and click on add SSA key. So then uh, now Now your R Studio links links with your GitHub account. So uh, to test the uh, it's working or not, uh, I uh, you need to create a respiratory from your GitHub account. So go to your profile 
and then respiratories. And you can see that on the right side, new. So click on that. And I am giving the respirat uh, uh, repository name called testing slash R Studio. And to make it public, or you can make it private, which one you want. And then click create repository. And now you need to copy this URL from here and paste. and paste to uh, RStudio. So just go to file, new project, and so you want to use your version control and your version control is git. Now uh, you need to uh, paste uh, your repository URL are you copied from your GitHub account over here. So paste it. Okay, and then click create project. Okay. Oh, okay. Now the project name is here. So now you, and then you need to use a um, subdirectory on your computer. So I'm just using my desktop. And then click project, create project. Yeah, now you can see the same repository um, uh, you created on GitHub, your GitHub account on your uh, R Studio. To check um, the uh, GitHub and R Studio are linked. So I want to create a new file, R script. And now I want to um, create some code, uh, type some codes for vectors, creating vectors. Using C. function. So let's get a um, numeric vectors. So Z and I am specify my function, say numeric one, two, and also I want to create another vector uh, log another logical vector through or uh, false and another vector characteristic character vector 
see us. X, comma, Y, comma, Z, another vector for integer vector. One to ten. Another, I can create a complex vector. One plus zero i, comma two plus one i. So keeping name this is my new Merrick vector. This is my Zical vector. This is my character vector. is my integer vector and lastly complex vector then i saved the file on desktop and saying testing our studio using vectors. Saved my file. Now um, I need to um, click git and then you can see this is my code this is my file so i select this and commit so this is my new one so i um i i'm not going to give any commit messages but like if you sense um your code uh, and add um, something or um, excluded some codes, then you can just uh, write your commit messages here. So, uh, who is um, uh, uh, in the letter remind you that you have sensed uh, your code. So I'm not going to use any commit messages because this is, uh, I create a new one. So just, um, Click commit. Okay, I just use new and close it. And then you can see in the right corner on the top push. So I click on push. So I'm saying I need to um, sign in my GitHub. Just sign in. Let's 
taking some time to push the code from my studio to GitHub account. Now you have successfully committed your um, messages and pushed your files uh, uh, on your GitHub account from your R Studio. Uh, to see uh, if uh, the R Studio and your GitHub account are linked or not, go to your GitHub respiratory, so close this one and go to your GitHub respiratory. So I create, create the repository uh, testing our um, studio. So go to that. Then you can see I uh, saved the file testing our studio using vectors. So now is on my GitHub account. So then you have just successfully uh, pushed your first commit from uh, within our studio to GitHub account. Uh, I think uh, all of uh, the four videos who, uh, will might be helpful you guys. Uh, I recommend um, to watch all the four videos if you want to um successfully uh, create a github account installed git on your windows and installed our r studio and link uh, git with github account and r with r studio um that's all for today um uh, you can share my video with your friends uh, and like the videos and subscribe my channel if you want to uh, more videos from my channel. Stay tuned. Thank you and happy Halloween. Goodbye.